Hello everybody, it's Lindy Tater, Tater Buggin. How's everybody doing today? I'm gonna wait for everybody to get their notifications. Hopefully those are all working today. And get myself set up down here and wait for my friends to get here. I'm gonna turn this off. There we go. Hi, Diana. How are you doing? Tina? Yes, you made it. I don't need to hear that. Okay, hi, Martina. Let me get this going so I can see all your comments better down here. Hey, Lori and Betty and Tina. They, oh, thank you for sprinkling, Tina. Good afternoon, Melody and Grace and Bunky's here. Who did I, did I miss anybody up here? Melanie's here. Hey, Melanie. Hey, Winifred. Miss Judy from the Crafty House is here. Hey, Miss Judy and Cindy. Thank you, Grace. I appreciate that. Hi, Roxy. I don't want to miss anybody. I like to say hello to everybody. Hey, Terry, Stacy, Denise is back from the UK, from North Wales. How about that? Hi, Debbie. Did y'all see what I'm using today? There's Pat. Pat, I'm doing fine. My allergy medicine has kicked in, so I was trying to make it a day without it. Thank you, Melanie, for passing the tater. Um, yeah, everybody. Hey, Judy. Judy, you've got a package that went out today. There were a lot of packages that went out today. Hey, Coley. There's my nephew, Coley. How are you doing? And, uh, oh, okay. Well, I understand if you're distracted, Rita. I get it. Hey, Tammy. Uh, have you, Judy? I knew somebody would know, uh, you know, about this one. I've been, I've had this one, um, set aside for a while and, Spring is here, and it's the perfect time for it. I thought everybody could uh, have some fun with this. <laughs> Toss the tater. Yeah, thank you for the stars, Judy. I appreciate it. Y'all are so sweet to send me stars. Um, okay, so we're going to get started. Um, hopefully, some others will show up, but we're going to open up our salt and pepper shakers and our dollar, these are both from the Dollar Tree. I got the butter dish. And y'all, it's surprisingly heavy. I thought it would be a lot lighter weight than this, but it's surprisingly heavy. And then I got these salt and pepper shakers that have the little, um, let me pull them out to show you. Have the texture on them like this. Absolutely, Judy. We gotta take care of y'all. Y'all are so good to us. Hey, Kimberly and Charlotte, y'all come on in. We're going to get started with this. Uh, somebody asked me if I was cooking today. Laurie asked me if I was cooking today, and I'm not. You don't want me to cook. We may do a live with Mr. Taterbug in cooking, though. He's a great cook. Oh, I'm so glad, Terry. Thank you for the stars. Thank you so much. Ooh, I've been blowing and going today, y'all. I've got projects all over this table getting ready for the big sale this weekend. But first, y'all, look, look, it's our puzzles. Oh, Judy, thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you for that. Here is our, I, this company, Micro Puzzles, we've worked with before, but they're just amazing. They're amazing. They even sent us these perfectly put together and glued puzzles and little easels for them. Aren't they cute? I just love them, and they put our logo on the back of the puzzles. Oh, Martina, I'm so glad. Thank you so much for that. Hey, Norma, how are you doing? So we have our cardinal. Have y'all ordered yours yet? And we have our little tall birds. Again, it has my logo on the back this time, so they added that this time. Um, Terry, they are in our online shop. Y'all can get them. Uh, if you ordered, if you've already ordered, they went out today. Um, hey, Tracy. Oh, no, you've got to work Saturday. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a bummer. 
Okay, I hate to hear that because it's going to be a fun day. I think the first thing, I'm, we're going to do it like this. We're going to turn it upside down like this, y'all. It's going to be a little tray, but, uh, okay, good, Norma. Good, good, good. <laughs> so, you're not allowed to go to the online shop? Um, one of my, um, one of my good customers from way back messaged me last night and said she was going to have to block me. It scared me at first, <laughs> but she said it's because she wants to buy everything. So I said, you're not allowed to block me. <laughs> I'm going to hit this with some folk art chalk paint in cottage white. So it doesn't look, have that plastic look, hopefully. Somebody, okay, where is, will it scroll up? Let me see who said that. Oh, good, Kimberly. Oh, great, that's so good. I'm so glad you'll get to go. I'm just gonna use this brush that I was using earlier, I think. Judy, you're a star. Everybody's saying hello to Miss Judy. I love it. I do, Terry. We've got everything. I think we have everything ready for you. Um, it, yeah, it's all over there. I've got a box ready for you whenever you're ready to pick them up. Um, so I'm just cleaning off this brush a little bit more because I've been, I've been working today. I've been painting all the things. Um, I made another B skip, a little larger one. You might be able to, yeah, it's right back, right back there somewhere. <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to just paint the outside of this. Now, okay, this is the way it comes, and you add a little chalk paint. Can you tell the difference? It just, we're gonna dress it up. That's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna worry so much about the bottom. Oh, Marty, thank you so much for doing that. We're live on the positive page. Have y'all heard about the positive page that Marty runs? It's wonderful. It's just only positive, beautiful um, posts, and it's just a happy place on Facebook. Planning the taters, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Judy, for that. I missed that question. Thank you for sharing that link. You're the best. Um... And we have, yeah, it, you can go to our online shop. We've got apparel. We've got wood block prints. We have wood kits and extras. Um, you'll find all kinds of stuff there. Hopefully, lots of stuff that you like. Hi, Donna. Didn't have this. I looked for the supplies. Oh, your Dollar Tree didn't have this. Oh, I thought these would be easy to find. Hey Marie, it was a it was a um, rainy, cloudy day here right up until it was time for me to go live. It's so funny how that happens a lot because y'all know if the sun comes out, I'm sitting in front of a wall full of windows, so I have to um, block a window, or you'll just see the reflection in my glasses. So I had to block the window real quick right before we went live. Hi, Diane. Y'all come on in. I'm painting a Dollar Tree butter dish. We're going to transform this today. Hopefully into something wonderful. We'll see. That's always my goal. I've been playing with... Um, cans. You know, I showed y'all last week how we turned one into a canister, and so I've been coming up with some different things to do with our cans, and I've had so much fun with those. I've got several paintings in the works for this weekend. I've got a list as long as my arm of things I would like to, um, I would like to have ready for Saturday. Oh, are you Billy? I hope you find, you'll have to post in our group, Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs. Post in our group your Dollar Tree haul from the Germantown Dollar Tree because I'm sure you're going to find so much good stuff. I haven't been, hmm, is it three weeks? Two or three weeks. It's time for me to go back out there. I just want to hit this real quick because we're going to put another coat, but 
I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the little salt shaker. Uh, Gina, it's on Exeter. Hey, Elizabeth. It's at Poplar and Exeter. It's in Germantown right behind the Hobby Lobby. And it is a wonderful Dollar Tree. It is wonderful. Okay, we're going to... We're not gonna use this one, this lid. Let me get this little brush out that I was using earlier. And we're gonna hit this with Folk Art Seaside Villa. It's a chalk paint and I. this is my accent color in my home. And, uh, oh no, Patricia. Hey, Marjorie. Elizabeth, thank you for the stars. You're so sweet. Thank you. I hope we're not having trouble freezing up again today. Sunday, we had a really tough time with that. Oh, Judy. I hate that. I wish they'd get it figured out. Hey, Janet. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Peggy Sue, for the stars. Oh, I hate that it keeps freezing. <sighs> Well, I'm just gonna keep going and hope for the best. I am just putting a coat of this uh, chalk paint. You can use any color you want. Choose a color that, you know, accents, I mean, that goes with your home decor. He's hecking up those squirrels out there. He will have no squirrels in this yard. And, Hey, Libby, how are you? Hey, Gail. Yeah, Rebecca, it is so nice. I need to get back out there. I don't, maybe next week, if things will slow down. This week is just crazy, crazy, so. But, you know, as if I need anything else from the Dollar Tree. I need to work up the projects that I already have the stuff for. Y'all know what I mean? Oh, okay, keep going. I will. It's not lasting. I I went back Sunday evening to check and see how bad the replay was, um, freezing up and everything, and um, I saw how blurry it was. Just what a mess. All right, now I want to hit this with the heat gun too. We're just gonna try to speed up our process here. Hi, Frida. How are you doing today? I do too, Peggy Sue. This is a this is my favorite. I've got little hints of, of this color all around my house. That's why I chose it. <laughs> you wouldn't understand that, would you, Miss Judy? <laughs> haven't even said what I'm making yet, Elizabeth. I'm making, I'm working with uh, salt and pepper shakers and a butter dish from Dollar Tree. I know, Kimberly, we hoard it all because we see all these great projects to do. So I am trying to get all of those made up this week to get them in my booth at Southern Vintage. And if I have some left over, I might put them in my online shop if y'all are interested in them. Well, that dries fast with that. Now, let's go back over here and put one more coat. You know what? Let me hit the inside of this now. The outside's dry. Let me just hit the inside. I'm just going to do the inside edges. And again, a lot of this is not going to show, so I'm not going to be too meticulous about it. But, I, you know, just in case any of these edges show, you want it to look finished. That's my dog snoring, so if you hear that. Hey, Michelle. Thanks, Candace. I appreciate that. What was a good idea, Kimberly? Did I miss it? I want to hear the good idea. All right. So we've just got that on the inside. Let me hit this while that, while that kind of sets. We'll get this tray. So what else is going on today, y'all? 
Thanks, Terry. I love that color. Thank you, Judy. I appreciate that so much. Um, I haven't seen, well, I know Melanie's here, so, um, and Anne Marie is her mom, and they live together, so I'm hoping, you know, they're kind of moderating too. Happy artists. How are you? Oh yeah, Kimberly, that's that's that has been my goal for a while. I want to get to where I put some of these things in our shop. Thank you, artist. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. Sending those stars. That's sweet. Um all right. Again, most of this part on the inside isn't gonna show, but I'm just trying to make it look a little finished out. Let's hit this outside part that will show right around here. The bottom won't, so I'm just going to hit this. Um, yeah, when I was working with those cans yesterday, I played around with um, a way to, y'all probably already know it. This brush I inherited, Terry. Uh, this was my friend's mother's uh, paintbrush. She was an artist, and... Um, my friend was kind enough to share some of her mother's uh, wonderful supplies with me um, when they were selling the house. And I have enjoyed her brushes so much. And this is one of one of them. So I'm sure it's a very nice, ooh, very nice one. I'm trying to be careful here not to get too many fingerprints in it. But you know how that goes. Uh, but anyway, I was working on the cans and playing around with a way to make paint it to look like it was rusty. I didn't, um, you know, I didn't do the rust technique. I've never tried that one. I do still want to try that, but I just wanted to try to see if I could paint it where it kind of looked rusty, uh, rusty. And so that was that, I found that cute catnip acres. Um, label online for free and so I just put the floral in there it was fun I like that enough I'm gonna try another way too uh, that I found to do it and see how, you know kind of compare the two all right so now it doesn't look so plasticky see how the bottom looks so different that's just two coats of um, the chalk paint now, there's a, a lot of, y'all wouldn't believe it, but I did some prep work on this, so you wouldn't have to watch a ton of this painting, but I wanted you to see what it looks like um, pre-paint, because sometimes it helps to, to know what you're looking for um, at Dollar Tree. Thank you, Melanie, you are still here. Um, how's your mom doing? I got to hear from her. What's this? A little piece of a label, I guess. Um, and I don't know where Opa is. That's, she's our other sweet moderator who's usually here. She's, she, she must be busy today. I haven't heard from her. I'm getting this all over me. Uh, this is uh, this is chalk paint. This is folk art chalk paint in cottage white, and that's folk art as well. And it's in Seaside Villa. I just uh, I'm sure I got that at Hobby Lobby. Get my fingerprints off of here because you are gonna see a little. I think you'll see a little bit of the tray. So we just want it all finished off. We don't need everybody in the world knowing it was a butter dish, right? Now, let's get out, let's get this. Let's hit it with the heat gun. Don't know what I did without my heat gun. y'all are out walking okay i understand i know marie she's been painting such beautiful paintings and she has been doing those florals hasn't she oh speaking of which 
if y'all are in my March floral class, hey Tanya, I'm glad you're here. Uh, if you're in my March floral class, I'm going to try to go live uh, tomorrow afternoon at some point for your bonus video. And I want to nail down the April class theme this week so that I can get it. Uh, I want to get it uploaded and going Sunday after the sale. Hey, Bonnie. Oh, okay. Your mom was out there. Well, okay, good deal. All right. It was, I'm sure it's a beautiful day there, too. Oh, hi, Peggy. Welcome, welcome. And hey, Sue. I'm so, Opa did make it. We were just talking about you, Opa. We figured you were out painting flowers. Um, my heat gun is from Amazon. I got it for Christmas. Let's see. Is there a name on it? M Life. It just says M Life. Can I, it's backwards. But that's where I got it. It's on Amazon. Thank you, Norma. Yeah. Oh, okay, Tanya. I understand. See you later. Yeah, Opa's here. Michelle, it, it turned off pretty here. The sun came out just before I came on here. Uh, it was uh, gloomy. It rained all night. It was gloomy earlier, but okay. There you go. Now, let's put... Let's put one more coat. I think I put two coats on my salt and pepper shaker. So let's put another coat on here. Hello, Esther. So if you're new to the page, welcome. And um, I hope you'll take some time to, to look around and see what we're all about and if it interests you that maybe you'll uh, come join us and hit those notifications make sure your notifications are on and because I try to go live Tuesday and Thursday at 4 central and then on Sundays at 2 plus we have our monthly classes which I try to do those live um, the first Sunday of every of every month and they're always available you don't have to watch those live you'll have access to those forever you had snow last night sue refresh my memory where you are oh i think we're done with all that here i hope it got it got chilly this week though but it's warming back up Okay, this is what we have now. I know, Melanie, I've had that trouble before, too. Oh, thanks for saying that, Opa. Um, if, you, if you want to join Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs, there are two questions to answer, and we need you to answer those so my moderators can let you in. You just have to follow Tater Buggin and agree to our easy rules of being nice. And I know y'all have no trouble with that. All right, so let me hit this now with the heat gun. So we have, all we've done is chalk painted our butter dish and our shakers. Um, yeah, thank you, Opa. They're $10, but you can pick and choose which months you want to do. They're always available. I started them last November. So you can go back and see the things, and if you want to, if those, any of those interest you, uh, you can join those still too. And all the videos are there, links and bonus videos, and sometimes we do crafts. Yes, she does, Norma. She does a great job. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of my Waverly Antique Wax. I, I love to see what everybody shares 
in our group, we have the most talented people, I'm telling you. For instance, you know, of course, some of you may have already done this. This is not, I don't think this is new. I'm just putting my spin on it, that's all. You okay? He has a cough every now and then. He's fine. We had the doctor check that out. I'm just putting a little bitty bit of this wax on the tip of this brush, and I'm going to lightly go along the ridges. Sorry, he coughs like that. And the vet said they just call it the old man cough, which is what it sounds like. Bless him. So he saves those until I'm live, and, and then he coughs, so that's good. See what I'm doing here? You know, I'm just distressing it a little bit. Oh, Janet, that's sweet. I, um, so watch for some goodies. I will, Opa. Oh, I can't wait to see what you're doing. Um, I just, there are things that I'll find on Pinterest and, um, get inspired by those, you know, whatever it might be. And it's so much fun to take them in whatever direction fits your home. Yesterday, I just, I just got to crafting, you know, getting ready for this sale and doing my own thing. It was totally, you know, I had not seen anything like it before. It's probably out there, but when I did the little, the little can, that had the, um, the oh, I can't think of my words. The can that ha I put the little vintage honey label on. I found that label, and that's what got me going because I was looking for some free printables that I could use to do those crafts. So I found that honey label, fell in love with it, and I know bees are big this year. Oh, good, Anne Marie. I can't wait to see. She's making those gorgeous paper flowers. Oh, they're so beautiful. Um, so when I got that, um, that label, I thought, okay, well, let's put that on the can. I wanted to paint the can to look old, but that kind of honey gold color. And then I thought I was gonna make the lid like we did the other day. And um, I decided I wanted to do a lid that was a bee skep. So I started looking all over the place. I tried so many different things, y'all, to, to, to make a bee skep out of. And then I found the perfect thing and it fit right on the can. It was, I was so happy. You know how, how it works when everything comes together and I had found those cute bees. I did not even know I was going to do that yesterday, but I found those cute bees at Hobby Lobby and just couldn't pass them up. All right, so for the top part here that I didn't paint, you can put ribbon, you can tie a bow, um, but I'm going to put, a, uh, I'm going to wrap it in jute, this thin jute. Again, you can get the three rolls in a pack at Dollar Tree. And they're in the, I call it the man section. The tools, it's not really the man section. I buy stuff in there all the time too. I did too, Judy. I just thought that was so pretty. And it was a free printable. And I've learned my lesson because after I posted that, somebody wanted the catnip label. So I went back to find it. I did a quick search. I found them so easy. They were on the same site. And uh, I couldn't find it to save my soul. And so, of course, I, they were free. And I had already downloaded them. So, I just emailed it to her. So, I can do that if anybody needs those. You know, just let me know and send me your email. And I'll try to get that to you. But today, when I found, I found some great new labels, I have ideas. Um... I'm sorry, Opa. I think you only missed one, right? Um, but anyway, I uh, have some ideas and I have some vintage, new vintage labels that were free to download. And uh, I've saved those links. So if anybody needs them, I'll have them. And I don't, you know, I don't want to do another 
canister with y'all. You know how to do that already. So I'm just kind of posting the pictures of the ones that I've made that I'm going to have at the sale. And, you know, I'm sure I'll be doing some of those for the online shop too because I'm obsessed now. There's just so much fun to, to uh, try different ways. So I've done the coffee, which I'm sure I'll do some more coffee canisters. But um, then I did the little bee honey container and the little rusty vase that says catnip acres. Y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just wrapping it around and hitting with the hitting it with the glue here and there. I want to see yours, Esther. I I'm dying for y'all to try those, but I will warn you that they are addicted because you can think of all different kinds of labels. 